The points race certainly was action-packed. The women's, Kieran, that promises to be action-packed as well. We've got two riders in the field from the Netherlands, Higana and also Canis. McCulloch and Mears, along with Hoskins and Williams. The Derny comes through to the front, being ridden by Daryl Benson, one of the key figures of cycling in Western Australia. And we can see the battle for that spot just behind the bike has been won by Anna Mears. The Derny or the motorbike stays on the track. It winds them up until it comes off down the back straight at two and a half laps to go, and then it's a free-for-all. We can see these two riders coming towards the front. This is Carly McCulloch that's coming around the outside. They're not wearing the same colours, but they did win the world title together earlier on this year in the team sprint. It's McCulloch now in the team Jayco colours that sits in the position just behind the motorbike, followed by Anna Mears, and they might be coming through to have another little bit of a conversation and swap positions. There's been some changes to Kieran racing in the last few years, which means that you can't quite lean on each other like you used to be able to and fight for position. But with these two riders appearing to be combining their efforts together and getting themselves organised, it looks as if Anna Mears is trying to take that approach that we've seen over the past few years of Chris Hoy and just using all her strength and her speed and leading out from the front. Coming down to the two and a half lap to go mark with the motorbike about to get out of the way. It's Mears that sits comfortably towards the front, just waiting for the move to come from behind. McCulloch it is that's in second position. She's giving a little bit of distance as she's got Canis and Higanar starting to breathe down her neck. It's Australia in the first two positions versus the Netherlands in the second two and then Western Australia at the back with Williams and Hoskins. Mears is still leading out. She's gone a long way from home. She checks underneath the arms to see if anybody is coming. It's McCulloch that's starting to close in on her. You can see the riders from the Netherlands with Willie Canis sitting there in second position. McCulloch coming around the outside. Mears is notoriously strong towards the finish, but she's been on the front for so long. McCulloch closing in. It's going to have to go to the photo. McCulloch might have got there, but it'll be desperately close. You could have thrown a blanket over all three of them. It may be just the timing for McCulloch. She'll get there, but only marginally. Canis will be in second position. Mears in third. We kind of went into it, we said we got two duchies, we got two waist riders and we got us, so what do you want to do? And I knew I'd, drew, I'd drawn number one, I said hey, works for Chris Hoy and the British team, why don't we try something out ourselves? It almost looked like Willie Cannes had on the line. I really thought that she got it, so I was really surprised when they said that I had one. Um, Anna set me up beautifully and um, I timed it to perfection, literally, so yeah.